Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Spring Boot Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project, adding basic build system reporting for the popular Gradle build system. This episode builds on the introduction to Gradle and illustrates how to add a few basic project reports. Future episodes in this series will demonstrate specific Gradle reporting for unit test code coverage and static code analysis. Let's get started. I've opened the Greeting Web Services project in the Spring Tool Suite, or STS. Open the build.gradle file located in the project base directory. Gradle itself is a framework which does not provide a lot of end-user functionality. Core Gradle provides an extensible object library and a task workflow automation engine to configure and execute tasks. Most Gradle tasks are provided by plugins. The Gradle build for the Greeting Web Services project declares three plugins which inform the build process. The Eclipse plugin provides tasks which manage the Eclipse project definition files. The Java plugin provides the basic tasks and workflow for all Java projects. The Spring Boot plugin extends the Java plugin, providing dependency version management, and wraps the JAR task, creating the Spring Boot executable JAR file. Let's begin by adding the Project Report plugin. The Project Report plugin contains several tasks which generate reports containing useful information about the build project, such as configuration, tasks, and dependencies. To add the Project Report plugin to the project, simply use the Apply plugin statement. Let's build the application to see the Gradle Project Report plugin in action. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. If the Gradle command line interface is installed on the build machine, the Gradle command may be used to initiate Gradle. Oftentimes it's desirable to run Gradle without installing the command line interface. The Gradle wrapper provides the full functionality of Gradle without requiring installation on the build machine. See the LeanStacks episode entitled Using the Gradle Build System with Spring Boot to learn more about the Gradle wrapper. Gradle functionality is organized into discrete groups called tasks. The Project Report plugin adds several tasks to the project. Each of the reports is available in the build slash reports slash project subdirectory. Let's produce the plain text task report using the task report task. The task report produces a report containing all of the Gradle project tasks. This is the same as running the Gradle task task from the command line. Next, let's produce the plain text property report using the property report task. This plain text report contains a list of all the variables and their values within the Gradle execution environment. Next, let's produce the dependency report, also in plain text. Use the dependency report task to generate the report. The contents of this report are the same as running the Gradle Dependencies task from the command line. This report contains a listing of direct and transitive dependencies for each project configuration, like compile and runtime. The dependency report is also available in HTML format. To produce the HTML dependency report, use the task named HTML dependency report. This report is generated into a slightly different subdirectory. You may find it in build slash reports slash project 
slash dependencies. Open the index.html file. Notice the same information is displayed simply within collapsible panels for easier browsing. Finally, the project report task produces all four of the aforementioned reports. If you wish to produce all of these reports, simply use the project report task rather than explicitly naming each of the project report tasks on the command line individually. Next, let's update the Gradle build script to include the Build Dashboard plugin. The Build Dashboard plugin adds a task which creates an HTML report that provides a con consolidated set of links to all Gradle plugins that generate reports using the reporting interface. At this time, the list includes links to reports generated by the following Gradle plugins. CheckStyle, CodeNARC, FindBugs, HTML Dependency Report, the Jococo Report for Code Coverage, JDepend, PMD, and the Standard Java Unit Test. The Project Report plugin adds one task to the project named Build Dashboard. The Build Dashboard Report is available in the Build slash Reports slash build dashboard subdirectory. Let's build the application to see the Gradle build dashboard plugin in action. Open the terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. To produce the build dashboard report, use the build dashboard task. The build dashboard task produces the HTML report with links to all the reports generated by other tasks in the build, so long as those tasks implement the reporting interface. Let's take a look at the build dashboard. Open the Build Reports Build Dashboard subdirectory. Open the index.html file. In this case, the Build Dashboard links to itself because it, it in itself implements the reporting interface. It also links to the dependency report from the Project Reports plugin and the Unit Test report from the Java plugin. In future episodes of this series, we will add more Gradle plugins to the project which generate reports. Those reports will automatically be available from the Build Dashboard. The Build Dashboard provides a consolidated location where engineers can find reports invaluable for their development. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new episodes are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com. To view the complete repository illustrated in this episode, see the GitHub repository URL in this episode's description.